Hello, good morning. Let's yoga. Today I would like to do a little stretch called a uh, stretch what? Muscle, connective tissue, and make you come down. Yeah. Connecting. Connecting. What that means? We're going to start from setting. So, you see how we do yoga. Four. Connecting. What you connect to it? You connect to earth. You connect to universe. So, we are going to start from setting. How are you going to set from standing up? Well, however you can. Okay, this is how I do setting. Have your hand down to the floor. Yeah, get a little balance. Open up the knee. Yeah, there you go. This is how we do setting. But whatever you can do. That's the secret word. However you can do. Paul and I are going to take mask off. Hey, we are cold weather. And I wish I was going to sit. Now, this we call easy pause. This is my easy pause. You have easy pause, not my the same. You see, pause, easy pause, that's how it is. So, find your easy pose, will you please? Pose sitting on a fold up blanket. If you like, you can have two, maybe five blankets stuck up. I know Mr. Howard likes stuck up about five of them. So, every Body is different. So, myself, I like to have this, oh, my handy dandy handy towel. That's all it is. Every body is different. So don't do anything cause you pain. Don't do anything you don't feel comfortable. Now, just take a couple more moments for you to be on floor. Okay, now yeah, sit bone. You know the big bones, right? Yeah, triangle bones. Find the bones and take the bones into floor. Whatever you're sitting on, take the bones into floor. And just a couple of my normal breaths are here. If you can feel just like a hmm. I don't know about this feeling. I never feel this way before. It's okay. That's what we call, we just to get connected. You connected to earth. When you, why we connect to earth? When you connect to earth, and your setting bones start rooting into earth. Yeah, roots start growing. When that happens, you get energy from earth. You had that before, didn't you? Keep the roots going and get your chest a little forward. You're opening up from side. Set tall. Did you 
you ever heard this? You have to sit tall. That's part of way of doing that here. Now, the crown. Open your crown up. Push all the way up. If you are here, leg, get tired, go ahead and stretch them. And if you like, you can switch them. Yoga is all about you. Did any yoga teacher ever tell you that? Yoga is all about you. You need to find your easy pose. Because this is easy for me, does not mean necessarily it's easy for you. Find your easy pose. So, we are connected to earth. We are connected to universe. We are getting the energy from both sides. Couple more breaths. Meanwhile, please squeeze your stomach against the spine so you don't hurt your lower back. If you are comfortable, you can close your eyes or slightly open. You can see, but you are not looking. Very nice place to be. And we are going to inhale. And exhale, squeeze everything you have in your system. I would like to share techniques. There is more than one or two techniques. Breathing make you keep you healthy. Today I would like to share with you. You inhale all you can. And then you hold there then you're going to inhale more. Yeah. Yes, that's what I said. Okay. Take your hand to or find your rib cage. Yeah, especially on your back side because your lung is on your back. And you always inhale through your nostril. Inhale. Start fill up your stomach, fill up your lung, all the way up to your shoulder. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Please hold it, hold it, hold it. Then you're gonna inhale more. Go ahead, inhale more. More, more, more. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Start exhale from your shoulder. From your lung, squeeze your stomach, squeeze everything, 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 squeeze up. Come on back up, pull your hand onto your knee, just to give yourself a little moment, maybe two or three. Feel your chest, how are you feeling? Do you feel like you just to stretch your lung system or stretch your bones on the rib cage? You should because that's what you just did. Okay, we're gonna do this one more time. Okay, your hands on your back of your the rib cage. Okay, you're gonna stretch this thing. You don't think that you can do that, but you know what? You can. Take inhale through your nostril, push that into your stomach, and into your lung, all the way up to your shoulder. Hold there, hold there, please hold there, hold there, hold there. Take one more deep breath in. Or you can inhale. 
Hold there, hold there, hold there. Start exhale from your shoulder, from your lung, from your stomach. Squeeze them out. Have your hand onto your knee. Did anybody feel your rib cage on your back? Just gotta get a little bit bigger. That's what we are trying to do. Catch up moment because that was a big exercise. And we are going to take our legs to front. I'm going to turn around so you can see my side of you, which doesn't mean much. Oh, your legs. Okay. Now, rub your head. It's getting a little cold outside. Well, in Yuma, it's just a little cool, right? But when you rub your head nice and hard, you get a little warm in the end, right? We're going to take this onto your back. Oh, give them a couple of breaths until your lower back start feeling mm, that's nice and warm. Take a deep breath and get elongate yourself. As exhale, stroke your legs down. Yeah, if you can go all the way down to toes, you don't have to. And inhale, come on back up. And stimulate your lymphosis system. Right? And we're going to do this. One more time, rub your hands together. Now this time, we're going to take this hand onto your face. Make cover your hand, cover your eyes. Oh, what is that feeling? Your hands have healing power. Two more normal breaths are here. Take inhale, exhale. If you're comfortable enough, go ahead, take that hand down. If you say, oh, I wish I had my hand on my eyes, go ahead, go back there. Your yoga, right? This is your, your yoga. So do what you feel most comfortable. Okay, hand onto your knees. We're gonna go forward bend. Now we're gonna stretch your lower back. It's just a good little forward. Poco y poco. Yeah, a little at a time. Now, your toes. You see my toes moving? When you feel like you want to push the toes up, please do. If you feel like, you're going to keep the toes relaxed. Your yoga, your body, yeah, comprende. Here we go. We're just going to go a little forward. Only thing, well, main purpose of doing this Stretching out here, your lower back. And if you want to get a little bit more benefit, go ahead and push your toes up. And get your hand. If you can get your toes into your hand, that'd be good. You are really stretching the back, bottom of your foot, back of your leg. And stretching your lower back. So, find the what is good for you.
if we are capable, take the elbow down to the floor. Then you can take your chest all the way down to your thigh. You don't have to. You don't have to do that. Just try to get there. You don't get there today, maybe next week, maybe never. It's not all about soft tissue, like muscle, connective tissue. There are the things called bones. How many bones are in your body? Those bones hit each other. You're never going to go any lower. That's how you're built, except that one. And we're going to squeeze our lower back. Slow inhale. Come on our way up. Exhale. Catch up for a moment. Just to feel how you're feeling. And bend your right knee. Take that against your left thigh. This is the same thing. You want to push your toes up, keep your toes relaxed. Just tiny little rotation. Your body bump goes to the left toe, uh, sorry, left knee. Yeah. And this time we're going to add our shoulder. Take a deep breath in. Oh, my left shoulder is broken, you know that. As I exhale, take time, go forward bend. You don't get here, it's okay. You don't know how long I've been doing this thing. If you're doing this three days, you might not get there. Don't worry about it. Then or you can is up on your leg. Now, did you feel different? Yeah, relax your toes or push your toes up. How did you feel that different? Yeah, this is your body. You know more than anybody about your body. So, you have to study and find your good place. This thing changes every day. You find a good place today, it's not there tomorrow. You need to study every day. Squeeze your lower stomach. Slow inhale. Come on all the way up. Hold there to exhale. That was quite straight. Can we straight change that side? Yeah, there we go. Your body bun, what are they looking? Yeah. Your toes. When we stretch and you change that and figure out how you feel. Take a deep breath in, both of the arms all the way up as I exhale. Squeeze your lower stomach. It's between your pubic bone and your body bone. Squeeze them. When you squeeze in there, you are not pushing up your diaphragm. Right? Your diaphragm feel free? Good. Take a deep breath in. Push yourself up. Hold there to exhale. Now I'm going to turn the other way because I want you to see the forward bend. Or you can turn this way if you like. Okay, important thing, squeeze your lower stomach. Do you feel, do you feel your lower back feel a little bit 
animal support, squeeze them. What they do is opening up your sacrum sideways, squeeze them, and then relax, squeeze it again, and feel that different. There you go. Okay, we're just going to go a little side. Easy, just a side. Which way ever you like. If you think about keeping the other side of a setting bone onto the floor, keep growing that roots. And the inhale, come back up. And going to the other side. Take time, okay? Your body will send it. What are you doing? You go one side to other. Your body tells you if it's not good for you. And we're gonna inhale, come back center. Hold your two, exhale. Whew. Take both of your hands to left. Catch up for a moment. Your toes all up to you. Inhale. Both of the arms go away up. Hold there to exhale. Yeah, get your body bundle. Looking at the left knee. Couple of breaths. And we're going to timber to the uh, right. Inhale, exhale, timber, go right. Couple of breaths. I hear your face should be looking at front. After two breaths, our face is looking at your right shin. Here we go. Your toes, you can push it up. Or you can relax. And walk your hand to center. Slow move. And we're going to push that chest up. Big inhale. Got it? As I exhale, try to go a little forward. If you can get your chest onto the floor. Your toes all up to you. Your hand, or go look for your toes. This call dragonfly. Stay here a couple more breaths and enjoy the stretch. If you push your toes up, boy, you can. Feel the stretch. Take your hand back right under your shoulder. Squeeze your lower stomach. Slow inhale. Push yourself up. Hold there to exhale. We're gonna take to the other side. You know we have to do both sides, right? Your hands, your left hand to front, right hand to the back, and inhale. Hold there to exhale. We're gonna be here a couple more breaths. Your body bone looking at your right knee. Yeah, stretch out here. When you're ready, take a deep breath in as an exhale timber to your left. Yeah. Now your face is looking in front. Couple of more breaths. On 
next big breath, go ahead and look up. How you feel about this pose? You don't have to. You honor your body. Whatever your body is telling you, if your body tells you don't do that, you don't do that, okay? Now we're going to inhale, come back up, and take your hand to front. And go a little forward bend. If you are ready for chest to walk, you can do that. If you are not ready today, you don't have to. You can find your toes to be your dragonfly. Hey, I saw a couple of dragonfly another day. Yeah, they are out. They are symbol of end of summer. Hand onto under your shoulder. Inhale. Come on back up. Hold there to exhale. Help your knees come back up to center. And what are we going to do? Your feet just about hip wide away. Take your hand, hug your knee. If you can't take your hand all the way closer to your feet, keep that knee or just about hip wide. Make sure you keep open your air pipe. You are trying to stretch your spinal column. We're going to be here a few more breaths. Can you feel the spine stretching? You know bones doesn't stretch. It's your leg mat trying to stretch. Take slow inhale, squeeze your lower stomach, and a slow inhale. Come on back up. Hold there to exhale. We're going to go to all four. Yeah, my knee is a little sensitive. I use this thing under my knees. How do we get to all four? Today, I'm going to ask you to do this. Okay, take your hand to your feet, right? Are we there? Oh, maybe I need to move my toe a little forward, okay. And your feet down, your knee down, oh, your hip up. Yeah, here we go. And take your hip a little side to side. My favorite exercise, the cat and the cow. Take your tailbone up, poco, poco, little at a time. Get your stomach down, trying to touch the floor. And push that shoulder up. Yeah, your chest, heart is open. Chest against the front of the wall and squeeze your lower stomach. That's the same pose we did a little while ago. Yeah, opening up your sacrum sideways. Two more breaths are here. Feel that achy feeling on your lower back. Now we're gonna loosen up the stomach and push all the way against the spine. It's time to do it. Tailbone between your legs, shoulder high, your head. Go, yes, yes, yes. Okay, now we're going to go, no, no, no. Get your neck moving. We're going to do, take this back to center one more time. Going to the cow pose. 
Take time to transition, okay? Don't do anything too fast. You're gonna hurt yourself. And squeeze your lower stomach. Couple more breaths. And then we're gonna go to cat pose one more time. Inhale. Exhale. Hey, Halloween is coming. Two more breaths are here. Stretch your lower back. Stretch your whole spine. We're going to inhale right here. Loosen up your back. Exhale. Come to sit up. Oh yeah. Flow up. This is called hero's pose. Yeah. And we're going to go forward bend right here. You are bowing in your master. You bow right here. Take your hand to your heel. Take a deep breath in, both of arms start spread side away. Hold it to exhale. We're gonna bring this arms to the front. Inhale. Hold it to exhale. Squeeze your stomach muscle. This is a core muscle exercise. Catch up a couple of breaths. Try to keep your buttocks on your heel. We're gonna push all the way up. Take a deep breath in. Go all the way up. Hold there to exhale. Catch up other breaths. We're going to go back to starting point. Take a deep breath in. As I exhale, going back to starting point. Catch up a couple of breaths. We're going to do one more, please. You ready? Inhale, arm side away. All there are two, exhale. Inhale, arm go to front. Hold there to exhale. This is the hardest part of this series, so please stay there. Two more breaths. Get your buttocks right onto your heel. Inhale, go all the way up. Exhale. Going back to starting place. Another breath out here. And come on up to all four. When you get to all four, get yourself onto your knee stand. Catch up a couple of breaths. Hands to front, your right hand gonna go center. Left hand, right on the left, left knee. Take your right foot, right outside of your right hand. And come on up. Yeah, that's called kneeling runner. Right? Catch up a couple of breaths. A little balancing exercise too. Have your hand to your head to flow up just for the balancing. And rotate your left toes. Do you see what I'm doing? Your toe goes out. Your heel goes in. There you go. Come on up. Ah, oh, here we are. Now you can see four. Right? And if you bend the front knee, 
Oh, we are warrior. Nice. Okay. Inhale, rotate your torso to front. Both of the arms all the way up. If you like, get start a little bit more, however you like. Adjust yourself. Nobody's body is the same. So you have to know what your body will do. Now right hand go to front, left hand go to your back. And if you can get your shoulder right on top of your hip. We're gonna stretch your front, front leg. Nice. Front leg stretch, go ahead, fall. Front leg, go ahead, stretch. Front knee, go ahead, stretch. Yeah, stretch like I'm doing. All right. And take your right hand down onto your right leg. Yeah, we are doing a little triangle right here. Couple more breath. Bend that front knee. Come on back up. Hold there to exhale. We're gonna rotate the front toes to front. So both toes are looking like this. Rotate that to, yeah, there you go. And we're gonna take a hand down to forward. Yeah, get a nice stretch. If you can, get that elbow onto floor. If anybody has a lower back issue, just let your lower back float on the air. Couple more breaths to enjoy that stretch. We call this thing decompressing. Fingers onto floor. Maybe you can even use your palm. Now switch the leg. Your left leg, left toe is front. Your right leg is sideways. Come on up. Bend up. Left knee. And go to warrior one. And the body at two. Keep bending the front knee for now. That is a warrior. Go warrior two for. There you go. We're gonna stretch the front leg and slide the left hand. Yeah, we are going to triangle right here. We're going to try different version of triangle in future. If you like, you can take the right arm all the way up. And we are going to walk to front. And get your elbow down. Inhale, push your head up. Now we're going to go toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel. Bend your knees. We are coming back to floor. When you get down to floor, oh, go ahead and stretch your legs. How your legs feel? Are they feeling pretty okay? Go a little side to side. Get a little 
little wider. Trying to bring your toes together. If your hips say no, what if you have a hip replacement? Don't do that. And then we're going to open them up. Catch up for a moment. And then we're going to put them together. Just to think, which joint is working on this one? Right? Yeah. So, if you have a hip issue, you really, really, really need to be careful with this one. Come on back to sit. Your easy pose. Your easy pose. Not mine. Okay? Whatever you can do, get easy pose. And we're going to rotate our hips. Make it slow but big. We did a good stretch already, so your hips should be fully warmed up. Get a big one. If your knee hurts, go ahead and stretch your leg. We're going to prepare to bring this back to center to pause. Are they started? Okay. We're going to go to the other side. you feel on your hip. Take it back to center to pause. We did a side bend earlier, but I want to do it again. Take your left hand to floor. Your right hand, here we go. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, turn and keep the right setting bone on the floor. Take one more deep breath and please look up. How many airplanes on the sky? Catch up a couple of breaths. This is not a beginner's pause. Take inhale, go all the way up. And exhale. You know we have to do the other side. Inhale, the left arm has to go up, I have to help. And exhale. Pew. This one, you are straight in your back cage, all the way down to your hip. One more inhale, look up. Check the weather, stretch your back cage. Stretch your whole body out here, except your leg. Inhale, go all the way up, and exhale. Whew. Little bit more neck and the shoulder. Here we go. Inhale, arms go to front. Exhale out here. This I happen to try in my class. Oh, it's been probably 10 years or so. Take your right hand to the other side of your left hand. Bring this to center. And rotate your palm. Now your palms are touching each other. Mira. Okay. We are here. Go like this. There you go. Now your palm to palm. Nice. Take inhale, exhale, cross to your chest. Inhale, stretch out. This is the kind of move very really hurt my best shoulder. Couple more breaths. Take inhale, exhale. Stretch your hand. Now we're going to get the left hand on top of it. Right? And get your palm to palm. Here we 
go. You feel that stretch? Yeah. Take deep breath in. Exhale. Take to your chest. Inhale. Push to front. Couple more breath. Inhale. Exhale, let it go. And loosen up your shoulder, elbow, wrist, fingertip. My goodness, that was a big stretch. And take your hand to your knee. Push your shoulder up very high. Then try and touch your earlobe. And inhale. Exhale, push that to all the way to your back. And push all the way down, right? Trying to get your shoulder closer to the floor. One more time. Inhale to yellow. Exhale all the way to back to floor. We're gonna do the other way. Inhale to yellow. Exhale, trying to get that shoulder close to your chest. And exhale all the way down. Last one. Inhale, push up. Exhale, trying to touch at the front. Go all the way down. Catch up for a moment. My favorite exercise, that tree hugger. We're going to open the chest from side. Very big. Like, mommy, I love you this much, right? Then we're going to go to the again. Here we go. Inhale. Mommy, I love you more than this. I cannot even make a big enough. Exhale. Hug the tree. This time, stretching your back. Can you feel the skin stretching? Feel that all the way down to your hip. Stay more, couple more breath. Yeah, hug the big tree. Are you ready? Inhale, mommy, I love you this much. Exhale, open your back. Inhale, just one last one, the big love from your baby. Exhale. Give the love to the tree. Come on up to inhale. Catch up for a moment. Just to feel how you feel. Do you feel that your back is stretching? How that feel? You feel that your front is stretching? How that feel? How did you feel that breathing exercise we did? Yeah. Yeah, you know that bones, that feels like they're stretching. That means you got that much oxygen in your body. Please sit nice and tall. Take your right ear to right closer to your shoulder. Left hand go out. You can stay on the floor. Or you can push up the feel. Yeah, try to feel that neck is really stretching. And inhale, right arm go all the way up. Exhale, find your left ear. Catch up more than a couple of breaths right here. Go a little side away to, so you can feel on your hip. Do you feel any different? Take inhale, right arm go all the way up. Exhale. Both hand onto the floor. And you know we have to do both sides. Left ear. And that right hand stretch however 
you like to do this if you can feel go stretch on your shoulder inhale that thumb up as it exhale <coughs> find your right ear inhale left arm up exhale catch up for a moment take your left hand rotate your right wrist I do this just about every day, but many of us are not able to do it, so let's do it. Rotate the other way. Don't hurt yourself, especially if you have carpal tunnel issue. And we're gonna do it the other way. And rotate the other way. Nice. Okay. We're gonna stretch side away. Open up and tell somebody, both sides, say stop right there, stop, okay, that's near enough, don't come any closer to me, you stop right there, right, stop them right there, and stay there a couple more breaths, and we're going to turn hands down. Take it back to front of your heart. Ah, we want to spread open your elbow, but keep your hand together. Inhale. Exhale. Did you feel that on your shoulder? I did. Inhale. Exhale. One last one. Inhale, exhale. Whew. Let me share something very strange. Take your left hand to your left knee, your right thumb. Try to move this closer to your pinky side. Ah, how do you feel on your thumb? Okay, let's do both sides. How is your thumb feeling? Do we ever do this to ourselves? Okay, this part is a well-known joint getting arthritis. Okay, now we're gonna open. Have to be slow right here. We open and close again. Try to touch your pinky side. And open again. All right. Now close your fingers. Let the thumb open. Move your thumbs to cover up your fingers. And we're going to move that thumb nice and fast. There we go. Open it. Oh, how did you feel? Nice and fast, close it. Two more times. Open. Close. Last one. Open. Oh, mine hurts. All right. Nice. Just sit nice and tall. Do you remember how we exercise the breath? That was the energizing breath. We're going to do something very Calming, make you feel pretty easy exercise. I use my right hand. You can use the left hand if you rather do that, okay? Two fingers to join your eyebrows. Take your thumb to crawl the side of nostril. Then take a deep breath in. Close both sides, nostril. Open your right to exhale. Then inhale. Close both. Open left to exhale. Then inhale. Both close.
just to feel how you are feeling and how your body is feeling. Come both hands to your heart center. Take a deep breath and push all the way up and stay together here. Exhale, open up, hands go to the side. One more deep breath in, hands meet at top. Exhale, take it back to heart center. I thank you for making time for yoga today. With all respect I have for you, I bow. Namaste. Namaste.